isolation is in this great room next to us. She's been very up and down all morning. She's threatened to leave multiple times this morning. It has been extremely difficult trying to reel her back in. Right now, she's okay. We don't know how long that will last. She was refusing to come on at least three or four times. I'm not going to come on if, you know, if I have to wear this or if I can't talk about this. So What's she doing we, we don't know if she's coming or not coming. So now I'm starting to believe the other sister. Right, yeah. right. Just when she wanted to set the record straight, uh -huh. I don't she's know. She's being a problem. She's okay. being a big problem. So, what's happening with these guests? Okay, so we have one really difficult guest today. She's been yelling and screaming. This is your fault, too! Because I told you the same I said I didn't want to go. So why am I being forced to be somewhere where I don't want to be? Like, everybody is pissing me the hell off now. I've about had it with this. They get here and behave this way. I am sick of this crap. I'm going to talk to them, but if she does this, we're done. So keep the cars ready. Let's just do this. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. You've never had anybody working harder to bring you to the threshold of change than right now. Well, you know, i got to tell you this starting straight out. I am about fed up with this show today before we even get started. Now, I've gone through this binder. It's about 250 pages, because I do my damn homework before people get here. <laughs> and this is two sisters that are she said, she said. They start pointing fingers. One calls the other a sociopath, a prostitute, says she steals money, fakes cancer. They basically hate each other, say they desperately want help. But do they really? This might be a really short show. <laughs> Take a look. My sister, Alicia, she is the black sheep of the family. I'm not gonna lie, I hate Kayla. I despise her. I wish Kayla was aborted. As bad as it sounds, I wish she was. But Alicia has traits of a sociopath. She lied about having cancer, and it was not true. I had seen a doctor, and they told me that I had ovarian cancer. I was shocked. And then the nurse told me that I was perfectly fine. It was a mix-up of a chart. She started a GoFundMe page for the cancer, but there's no, there's no proof on that. The GoFundMe page was not for cancer. It was because I actually wanted to take the time to go back to school. She's always driving very expensive cars. She once had three cars at the age of 18, a Range Rover, a Honda, and a Jeep. She was showing me her bank statements and had money getting put into it every week, thousands of dollars. Where would an 18-year-old get all this money? She's either doing things sexually for money or she's dealing with drugs. That accusation is 100% not true. I had this boyfriend. He got me a car. It was a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It was not a Range Rover. Alicia has a big problem with stealing. She's stolen money, credit cards, jewelry, and clothes. I know for a fact that Alicia has stolen more than $10,000 from a relative out of the country. I do not have $10,000. If I had $10,000, I wouldn't be living in a basement apartment. I'm so angry at her that I'm ready to literally slap the out of her. We have a very hate-on-hate -hate relationship. Every single thing that I say is true. At this moment, I'm not the liar. Kayla's 100% the liar. I haven't seen Alicia in about three years. I am nervous about seeing Alicia for the first time in a while. Now I just want Kayla to shut the hell up. Okay, lessons start right now. She says you're the liar. You're making all this stuff up. She lied about having cancer. She lied about stealing money. You say she has the traits of a sociopath. What, what do you mean? She, like, has no remorse. She feels no emotion. She has no love. She lies. She steals. When we were going to school, she would make teachers cry. She used to cu she cut her hair once and then put it on the teacher's desk. I don't know why she did that, but <laughs> she did. At 18, she had three cars. How do you, what's your theory about how she got three cars? I, I'm hoping it's not true, but I do think that it has something to, to do with, like, men, maybe. Uh, she's getting money from older people. You think she might have been prostituting? Possibly, yes. Well, she's, she would have to be a really good prostitute. <laughs> I think so. She get three cars out of it. Um, I don't know. I was in one of her cars once, and I asked her, like, how are you able to maintain all of this? She said, oh, I get money put into my account every week. And she showed me, and it was, like, thousands of dollars every week she was getting put into her account. So I was like, OK, where is this money coming from? Do you think she was hooked up with sugar daddies? Possibly, yes.
And so they were maybe cashing her out? Probably, yeah. In that way? Yeah. Just dating guys for money? Yeah. Or maybe drugs. Yeah. I think it has a lot to do with that, too, so... I just, I don't know why she has so much money yeah, and so, so much wealth. So why did you want to be here with her? Because I think that it's been a long time. Like, I've never had a good relationship with my sister. It's been years, and now I just... I think we need to get to the bottom of what's going on. I think I really want to have a relationship with her, and I don't know if we could do it. Well, Kayla says her sister, Alicia, has been violent since she was very young. Now, Alicia admits she has anger issues. Take a look. I had anger issues in school. I got into a confrontation with another student. He tried to fight me, so I picked up a bat, and I slapped him on the back with it. And then the cops got called, and then I got sent to anger management. When I was in my early teens, I did pick up a pair of scissors to go and stab Kayla. I believe that she does have some serious anger issues. We got into a heated argument, so I physically slapped her. I went like that. Alicia immediately got angry, and she moved the chairs, and she pushed me and held me and shook me and then pushed me under the table. My anger issues, I can't lie and say they went away. They still come and go. Lisa, Dr. Phil, how are you? I'm good, yourself? Well, I'm okay. Uh, I was just looking at a piece of tape saying that you think, yeah, maybe I got anger issues. Yeah. Well, what are you angry about? I just don't like my sister. I feel like we don't have a proper connection and I don't, I don't want it. I'm angry at her for everything that's happened. What's happened? What is it she's done that's made you angry? She's just very fake to me. Whether people see it or not, I see it. Um, she's just very disrespectful. Like, I can't. Like, it's just not something that I want to tolerate anymore. Whether it's her trying to pretend like she's my friend and then going out to other people saying something else and twisting the story, or her going to, like, my dad. If I go to him and say, oh, dad, Kayla did this, someone's always backing her up. Well, other than five minutes at Christmas, you guys haven't seen each other in three years. So yeah, you don't basically. hang out. No, and I want to keep it that way. Yeah. Um, why did you come here today? Because she called me uh, when I was on, like, this mini vacation with somebody, and she asked me if I would be okay with coming here, and I said, why? She then told me she thinks I have issues that I need to solve, and I said, okay, we can go. But I'm telling you, this is my last straw. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. Well, she says, and I'm just telling you what she says, yeah, yeah. she says that you have stolen clothes, money, credit cards from the family, that you're just a dishonest, angry, violent person. I've never once stole a credit card. If I could have proof of that, then that would when be great. When we were younger, you I've never, never stole money from mom, I've never, never taken any of her credit See, cards. this is why I can't do this, because, like, I promise you it's not going to end properly. Because she just, she targets me. I'm not about it. If my parents are out I'm here, I'm not I'm targeting not you. Talk I'm talking the truth. That's You're it. You're not talking the truth. You, you purposely try to get me in trouble. You are the fakest person I have ever met, Kayla, whether you see it or not. I despise you. I cut her off for a reason, and your damn Alicia, hell right. Kayla, we haven't even... talked in, like, so long. And I so... thank the Lord for that. Whether people see me as bad or not, Kayla, I can't. You came on this show to make yourself look good. Are you kidding me? I came on the show to have a relationship Deanna with you. Deanna told me a whole bunch of things. We're not talking that about that. I messaged Dr. Phil so that we could come here okay, and resolve Kayla. your issues. My we issues. We have no relationship, and I I'm want so one with you. I'm so grateful for that. Why? I hate you. I hate you. I don't want anything to do with you. I hate you. You are not a sister. Well, regardless of what she says, I still want to fix this. I still I want don't. to work on it. Did you lie about having cancer? I did not lie about that. So you have it. Can you shut the hell up? I'm not talking to you. Tomorrow, I lay down in bed and haven't been able to get up. He's been living in this bed, not for a week, not a month, but five years. And mom does everything for him. He even cleans his urinal because he doesn't want to get up and walk to the bathroom. But if I don't do it, he doesn't do it. You said this is the end. And then you laid your happy ass down and you haven't gotten up since. He'll lay there and die. I know what's wrong with him. What I don't understand is what's wrong with you. Tomorrow, then on Thursday, on DNA Discovery. What goes through your mind when you find out, wow, I have three sisters I didn't know I had. And a confrontation with dad. That is an absolute higher form of insanity. Dr. Phil, Thursday. So why do you hate her? I have my reasons. 
Well, why? Well, okay. Point. So she'll go around the family making up stuff, saying that I've done certain things that actually haven't happened. Um, I've presented, like, document well, not documentation, but I've presented screenshots to people who have asked me about these things. And what Kayla says doesn't match the story that I have proof for. I don't appreciate things going around if it's not the right fact. I, get, I can admit that I've done things wrong, but she acts like she hasn't. What's the worst thing you've done that if you had, if you could take it back, you would? Everything. That's impacted your family. What would it be? I would say literally everything that I've done. I'm well, not going to the pinpoint one. There is no top three. Everything that I've done is just. Did not you lie convinced. about having cancer? I did not lie about that. So you have it. Can you shut the hell up? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. You see that, right? I'm not talking to you. Go ahead. I didn't lie about it. I can explain to you what happened with that. So I went to the hospital one day because I wasn't feeling good, and I told my mom what was happening, and she told me I, can, I should go to the hospital. And she apparently tells me all the time that the hospital is my house. I'm not even there that often. And I had went there, and I got, like, x-rays done. And then the doctor that came in, I'm still working on getting his name, who told me that I had something with ovarian cancer. And then about a week or two later, I was feeling sick, so I went back. And then it was this Chinese doctor or nurse that came up to me and I asked her about it and she's like, yeah, there's nothing there. And I was like, okay, so why was I told? And she's like, oh, he might have mixed up your charts. I'm so sorry, blah, 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 blah. So, so then I just kept it and I left it. I'm like, okay, whatever. So how did this doctor tell that you had ovarian cancer? I did blood work, I did urine tests, and I did x-rays and MRIs. But I don't know how he initially came up with that. I don't know how that works, so I honestly, I couldn't tell you. Okay, so he got your chart mixed up with somebody else's. That's what the Chinese doctor had told me, yes. Okay, so they knew that by the time you got back there. Yes, but nobody failed, like, they nobody failed to inform me. Nobody bothered to call you and say, oh, by the way, you're not dying? No, nobody failed to inform me. Like, or they failed to inform me, sorry. Like, I did not get a call, an email, a text. I didn't get anything. So That's then I went... That's a really crummy hospital. <laughs> if they mix your records up and then they figure it out, it's but then they don't bother to tell you? It's messed up because then it makes me feel like, like it's just stupid. But it's not something I'm going to go around lying about, considering my dad had prostate cancer. That's not yeah. something I'm going to do. Do you get along with your stepmother or anyone in your family? I get along with my dad, because that's the only person I care to get along with. I cared at one point to get along with my stepmom, but I've just, I've given up. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to me. Can I bring up something? Yeah, you can speak. You don't need her permission. OK, perfect. Um, so <laughs> there was a time that I was living away from school, and I was at work one day and Alicia had come to my house unexpectedly and she brought her Jeep and then ended up crashing it in front of my house mm -hmm. and then got another one the same day but Alicia was 18 years old 18 so I don't understand like I've never seen her like do a driving test get a license like I don't know why she had three cars at one time that doesn't make sense like can you even afford a sh insurance it's not me like Who's, what who was kind of job do you have see who was I said for that. Then? I told them this, and I'm going to tell you, I don't care. I'm not ashamed of I my life. I care, because why? Why? why, why? Well, let me ask you one question. Why do you care so much about what I do if you never bothered to talk to me for because three years? Because you are my sister, Stop pointing at and me. a lot of people come up to me. I will find a lot of people come up to me. I find it disrespectful. Please do not point at me. A lot of people come up to me and talk to me about Alicia, whether it's family, friends, etc. So let them talk. It doesn't, if it, let them talk. Like, people are allowed to use their mouth. Another example, I was in the Caribbean. I was visiting family, and I got a message on my phone saying that Alicia has my manager's phone. And she said that she was going to fix it, but she ended up keeping it. Is there any way that you can talk to her and get the phone back? What are you talking about? And I said... What, what you're a phone repairman? What, what that's what I'm saying. I don't know. What's Alicia with your had my friend's phone, phone yes. Whose phone did I have? have? She had one of my friend's manager's phones. To I don't fix know. it? To fix it. I didn't have anybody's phone. It. Okay, hang on. We gotta take a break. Even though Alicia says she doesn't get along with her stepmother, I would like to meet her. So I'm gonna invite Diane to join us. And then the one person that she says she does get along with is here too, and we're gonna meet him in just a little bit. We'll be right back. I believe Alicia gets some of the things she has through criminal methods like drugs or prostitution. We barely believe anything Alicia says. If she says the sky is blue, we'd look up. Diane, my stepmom, does tend to take Kayla's side. My stepmom's fake. She's fake. I love her, but she's fake. Called her a bitch, not in Britain. She grabbed me by my neck, pushed me against the wall. That messed me up. It shocked me. It's not something I'm going to forget. I still hold on to it. It's messed up to do to a child, especially if it's not your kid.
Well, Alicia says that she's the black sheep because her family has always favored her older sister, Kayla. Now, their stepmom, Diane, says Alicia lies and she suspects her former lavish lifestyle was funded by criminal means. She says some people grow out of their troubles, but Alicia has grown into them. Take a look at what she says, and we'll meet her. The things that Alicia does that makes me most angry is lying, and it hurts people. We barely believe anything Alicia says. If she says the sky's blue, we look up. I've seen her driving expensive cars, wearing designer clothes, and having a lot of cash on hand. When we ask Alicia about where these things come from, she lies about it. I believe Alicia gets some of the things she has through criminal methods like drugs or prostitution. She could end up dead or in jail. It really scares all of us. Alicia has stolen things from me in past. She's stolen watches, a ring. She's stolen my car keys. She's taken money from my debit account and stolen clothes. We don't have proof but we know Alicia did it. I don't trust Alicia in my home when I'm not there. My husband and I asked Alicia to leave our home at the age of 17. Alicia was physically abusive at times. At one point, we were driving in a car and Alicia unbuckled her seat and came to the front of the car and slapped me across the head while I was driving on the highway. I might have slapped Alicia for something that came out of her mouth, nothing I would not have done to any of my other children. I do choose sides with between Alicia and Kayla because I know who Alicia is and I know that she's probably not telling the truth. It's really difficult to give her the benefit of the doubt. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. So Thanks for having us, Dr. Phil. Are you concerned about... I'm really concerned about Alicia. Why? First of all, we were texting kindly and sweetly all night. I know, I'm fine. I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I'm asking you. You said that before why. the show that you don't like I'm her. not talking to you. Respect that, please. I'm concerned, yes. I'm Dr. concerned, Bell. too. I'm sorry? I'm concerned, yes. Okay, and you're concerned that she is involved in criminal activity? I'm concerned with the track her life is taking, and some of the things, yes, look like mm -hmm. they could be. Uh, how do you make money? I have a job. What do you do? Telecommunications. It's, I do phone surveys. Does that pay pretty well? I've never done it. Yeah, it's, just not, it's not terrible. <laughs> Is that why you insisted on coming out with your phone? No, I just didn't really feel comfortable doing this. So my phone is just for my sake. What do you I mean? just want it on me. I don't feel like that should be a problem. Because she needs to call for help or something? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's, we can go with that. No, I mean... I'm... I just want it on me. That's just how I am. I don't leave anywhere without my phone. I don't trust anybody with it. That's just how I am. Oh, you don't want to leave it behind. I've had my phone get stolen by you other people. You don't expect to use it. You just don't want to leave it somewhere that you yeah, don't know Yeah, I'm not going to use it. We have pretty good security here. I trust you guys. Yeah, I mean, but... I got my own phone. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, I promise I'm not going to steal your phone. Okay, that's good. Uh, to start. Did you feel like you were making your husband pick between you and his daughter? At times I have felt like that, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Has she been put in a role of the black sheep? Don't lie. I think Alicia put herself there. Ooh. Yes. I agree. Well, come on. This is an interactive situation. Whatever's going on here, it's not all about her. This is a family dynamic. Absolutely. Whatever situation she's in, she didn't create it all by herself. No. <laughs> well, in being a family dynamic, I have three children before I got married to Ron, and when I thought this wouldn't be an issue bringing up two other ch girls, and it, sh she creates a family dynamic that's not useful, that's not, that's not, that doesn't help us to flow smoothly. Like, if we, we, were, we were already becoming a combined family, mm -hmm. and Alicia lying and stealing and causing disruption in the family didn't help mm -hmm. that situation. Well, kids do dumb things sometimes as they're growing up. Uh, have there been times you've done really dumb things? Yeah. I'm I not mean, gonna lie and say I haven't. Did you steal her and car I keys? I took my dad's keys and his watch. I'm not gonna lie. And Why Julie? I did it? Debit card, yeah. What'd I never took money it? off your card, though. Yes, she has. Misha. I haven't. She has. I actually have. Where's do your you? No, no, stop. Stop. Where's your proof that I did that? Because I can tell you, you I haven't lied throughout talk. this whole okay. trip. Okay. I'm on, I can talk, talk to her. Like I'm expressing my emotions. How are you going to tell me she, what I can say? I physically took you to three stores and, and asked them. And you also bust me in my lip. Remember that? 
Not, but that's a different issue. No, and it's I, not. First it's of all, all it's not true, like, but you're trying to You are trying from, to make it centered around me. What about what you did? That I took you to the store She raised you. You failed as a sister too, Kayla. She raised you. I cannot have a relationship with you because of how you are. So why did you call Dr. Phil? Because I need help. I need you to Good, get help. Good, I'm because glad you Before you, need you die, help. before you get raped, before you How do you know I haven't already? How do you know I haven't gotten raped? Why are you just talking? Watch what you say. How about that? You don't know my life story, nor do you, nor does my father. Why don't we? That's why we're here. To because help I you. hate all of you. I hate you and I hate you. I tried to love you, okay? I tried. I tried to reach out to you, have I not? Did you hate me last night while we were texting? And you I don't, said you I'm not me? gonna, like, I'm being nice to you. And it's always this so kind who's of thing. fake mm. now? I said I love you, but you're fake. No, you didn't say that. Actually, Dr. Phil, did I not no, say that on the video? The text last night. Okay, the text. The text I was fine with. I meant what I said. Fake? I said, expect what I had to say. You said... I said, I'm prepared. If I want to have my phone on me, I will gladly pull it out. Pull that up. Great. The text I know what I told you, Mom. Night. You See told there? me. I care. Your phone. This is why we have it. I think you brought that. I told you. Hold on. I told you guys, don't worry about it. I said, you'll be surprised. I'm not going to lie. I said, look, I'm not going to lie. I hated everyone at one point. Mm -hmm. I'm no, not no, lying. Go on. OK. I said, I told you guys I love you. I appreciate you, no matter what you Was drive me through. Well, I love you. I appreciate I you. Told, I said it in and the now thing you that hate I You're sounding fake. Now you're no, sounding fake. Like you can beat me up for that. It's on. fine. See, like it's it's always like no, this. because this no, is why Kayla, I can't have you a target me. You. Why would they help, target so you? You're not trying to help. You know what you're trying to do, Kayla? She's trying to make herself look good like she's always done. Kayla's not a sister. Coming up, what does Alicia's father have to say about being torn between his two daughters? We'll meet him next. When there's a fight between Kayla and Alicia, Diane is more comfortable on Kayla's side. I usually be neutral. I have some issues with how my dad handles the situations with Alicia. My dad enables Alicia. This is one of the Facebook posts that Alicia put out there, basically saying family. My family will go out and say absolutely nothing to me. And all you people wonder why I stayed away from you. You guys treat me like I'm nothing. Next time you guys ask me where I am and I avoid you, look at the post and wonder why I stay away. Thanks, my so-called family. That is all nonsense. People are staying away because they're scared and they don't trust her. She is trying to get attention through social media. She tends to do that a lot. Hmm. I have a lot of things I want to say to you people right now. Oh, my God. Stepmom Diane says all the accusations are true, and their dad, Ronald, tries to be impartial. Let's hear what he has to say. The only connection that Alicia has right now with her family is myself. I'm worried if I harden Alicia the way I want to be, I feel I would lose her. I try to make it as peaceful as I can instead of really dealing with the problem. But at the same time, she's not getting any better. It's a very big burden. When I hear that Alicia hates Kayla, it concerns me to the point that she want to harm her own sister this much. When there's a fight between Kayla and Alicia, Diane is more comfortable on Kayla's side. I usually be neutral. I have some issues with how my dad handles the situations with Alicia. My dad enables Alicia. When Alicia was 17, I asked her to leave the home because her attitude was unacceptable and there wasn't any control. I didn't have any choice at the time. I feel guilty. We all made a lot of mistakes and I want to bring my family back together. I'm here because I love her very much. <sighs> and I want this to work. Yeah, don't fake upset. Tell I care so much know. about her. I'm done. I really do. Finish? Yeah, okay, finish. That's okay. I love you, Alicia, regardless of everything that's happening care. today. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. I still love you. Hold on, hold on, I don't care. I don't care about what you're saying. I still love you. No, you I don't. I still want to help Kale, you. Kale, You love okay. the thought of it. Thank you for being here. No problem, Dr. Phil. Um, tell me how you feel about everything that's being said and transacted here so far. It's usually as crazy as usual, like what's going on right now. And um, there's truth, and there's a lot of anger. For Alicia to sit here and say that my wife doesn't treat her properly, that's crap. Name one time that she Shush, shush, properly. just shush. Hmm. Okay? You, nice. you talking just now for them to be shut up because they're not talking to, you're not talking to them. So you're not talking now, so you shut up. Okay. 
Don't tell me to shut up. We people. just shut up. Don't tell me to okay. shut up. Whatever. Guys, just relax, please. This situation has gone chaos. We all tried. <laughs> we all tried to do the best we can. I admit there is times when I was not serious with Alicia because, as I mentioned in the video, as a father, I feel, well, I don't want it to be sides or or trying to divide the love between the two. And they, I love both of them the same. There's no different. But I can't sit here and you going on cussing. And so you don't want me to be on, honest? I am not speaking to you. Let me finish. Then don't talk. <laughs> Just keep going. Just this keep going. is a situation. Just keep going. I respect my daughter for doing this because <gasps> for me, I appreciate what she done, and that's why I'm here today. Oh, Whatever reasons Alicia feel that she hit her sister for, I have no idea. And I think she has the wrong opinion of why we're here today. Okay, Dad. What do you hope to see happen? Well, I was hoping that everybody get along, they develop a relationship. Uh, that's what I hope, too. Uh, forget about everything and start anew, because I think, as you mentioned earlier, this is a family that needs to help, and we all have a part to play in it. I think I let a lot of stuff just go under the carpet without... Like you always hit me and not kill her? Listen. No, no, no. Answer I, the I'm, question. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to, to, to deny anything. I did what I had Great. to do at the time when I was a single parent, and I failed in many ways. But I'm not here to today to bash anybody or to put you down or we to be put it on each other. We are here because we come here to see what help we can get for you. This was the wrong decision. You need a lot of help. And Kayla, the only, way, the only okay. way I can have a relationship with Alicia is if she gets the help that she needs because she we've tried therapists. Well, tried you don't doctors. want to talk to them, so let me talk to you. Because you guys, like, basically okay. forced okay, let me, me to. Let me talk to you. Go so ahead. You don't want to talk to them, so talk to me. I'm fine. I don't want to talk to her. I don't mind talking to my mom, but I don't want to talk to Kayla. Okay, well, talk to me. That sounds great. You can't, you can't have any big angst with me because we just met. That's exactly. True. <laughs> uh, I may run afoul pretty quick, but so far. <laughs> um, I, I'm just curious why you're giving these people so much power in your life. What do you mean? They dominate you. They control you. They have every... They, they have complete control. They have you under their thumb. You give them the ability to make you insane. Why why do you give why do you give her so much power? I don't, but he No, yes you do. I try not to. Every time I try to stop it, he has something to say. You are full of rage and anger and bitterness and no one. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks that when you're angry that all of a sudden you're big and strong and tough. Let me tell you, you're never weaker than when you're angry. Because you're only angry when you feel victimized. And so you're at used. your weakest point. I don't understand why you give these people so much power in your life. You Every say, I don't time. care, I don't care, I don't care. You care totally, <laughs> or you wouldn't be so upset. I'm upset for different reasons. They say that I'm this bad person, but it's funny because every time that anybody has needed me, I've been there. So would it be accurate to say that you feel unappreciated. I feel so unappreciated. Like, my friends have even told me maybe I should just cut my family off because they're not going to change because clearly they think I'm not going to change. Why bring me here if you think I'm not going to change? Because of how you're acting right now. I'm not look allowed to be upset. Acting. You're allowed to be, but look how you're, you're talking to him, to my dad. Look, you look how, how you're you were talking, talking to, to me, though. Okay. It goes around, Kayla. Like, you're not allowed to just talk to me and pretend you're, you're nice not to me. listening because for the first time, she is being authentic instead of angry. And I have a pivotal question for you that I think can turn this entire thing around if you have the courage to answer it honestly. Awesome. I'm going to ask it after the break. I've never experienced having a little sister. And Alicia's made it so difficult growing up. I love her so much. And it I'm really hurt. Deep down, I know that there's somebody in there that's true to herself and true to other people. Well, Kayla and her sister, Alicia, both agree on one thing. They cannot get along. And I said that 
all fingers are pointed towards Alicia here. And I also said, that's inaccurate. You're the squeaky wheel. And I, I'm saying that you are a symptom of a dysfunctional family. And for everybody to point a finger at you, which is really easy because you've made some really bad choices, right? And it's hard for you to say that in front of her and her and him because it's, you, you, it's hard to have a face-saving way to say to people choices. that are being critical of you, yes, I've made some bad mistakes because when you do, then they're gonna leap on that and say, see there? So it's really hard to do that in a face-saving way, right? But I said I had a pivotal question for you. And the pivotal question is a what if question. What if, what if you're not angry at all? What if instead of being angry, you're really hurt? What if instead of being angry, you are really damaged emotionally by what you perceive and have experienced to happen. Anger is the get them before they get you emotion. You go through life like this, it's all right, like I'm gonna get you before you get me because I know you're gonna damn sure gonna get me, so I'm gonna go through life like this, and boy, if you get close yeah. to me, pop! I'm gonna get you before you get me because I know you'll get me if I don't, and that's a safe way to go through life. Lonely, but safe way to go through life. You get them before they get you. And here's the problem. People are similar in this way. You know what the number one fear is in all people? No, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna tell me. Yes, I am. <laughs> the number one fear in all people is rejection. The number one need is acceptance. Everybody wants to feel like they belong somewhere. And you don't feel like you belong with these people, do you? Not at all. You feel like there's them and you. Yeah. So you're on one side, they're on the it's other. basically me against them. E exactly. She doesn't feel like she's accepted by you people. She doesn't feel like it. And so she starts to do things to lash out. Has she lied? Yeah. Has she stolen? Yes. Has she done things to hurt and lash out? Of course she has. Why? Because she's going to get you before you get her again. Dr. Phil, can I ask a question? No, you can't ask a question. You need to listen to what I'm telling you right now. You're rude and obnoxious. So why do I like you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I know you can tell me. <laughs>
your acceptance. She wants you to not judge her. I want to accept her too, but it's just so hard. Like I've tried so many You don't times. have to accept her behavior, but you can accept her. And then you can work on those things together. You don't have to love everything about someone to love them. There are things people do that you don't have to like that doesn't mean that you don't love them. Definitely. I agree. But you judge her conduct, you judge her behavior, and you forget that behind it all is a human being with feelings and wants and needs. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. <laughs> you can be really obnoxious, right? Very. Yeah. So why do I like you? I don't know. <laughs> That's a puzzle, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, really, you're rude and obnoxious, so why do I like you? I don't know. <laughs> but I know again you're going to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but why would I like you when you're rude and obnoxious? I don't know, but I know you can tell me. <laughs> yeah. You want me to tell you that? I you? really want you to tell me. Because it's a puzzle, isn't it? Like, God, how could he? Right? Because, I mean, you've, you're very prickly. You're like trying to hug a porcupine. <laughs> right? But you have a really nice smile, and you really have a nice laugh. So, I mean, you're really a nice person. You're just really rude and obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my God. But you, you, you do that to protect yourself. And the reason that I really like you, I'll tell you why, is because I look past that. I look past the anger and look behind it and see what's back there. And what I see is somebody that's wounded, somebody that's hurt. There is really power in forgiveness. There's really power in forgiveness. There's power in forgiveness first of yourself because you're really angry with yourself. You've made some really bad decisions. You're really angry with yourself. And there's power in forgiveness. If you forgive yourself and say, look, You've done some really dumb things. That was then. This is now. I can hit the reset button and start over. But you need to take care of you. And you need to heal these open wounds in yourself and give yourself a fresh start. And I want to get you some help with that. Not, not as a group, just you. With that, they don't even know anything about it. You don't have to tell them a damn thing. Just you. Because when you turn loose of that burden of that anger, you're going to be astounded at how different the world looks to you. Okay. Fair enough? Okay? <laughs> All right. So. Be patient. Let some of these things happen. And I think you might be really surprised at who winds up being the leader in taking this family out of this maze. Just be patient. I want to thank all of my guests today. I hope they trust the advice I've given them. My Twitter follower, Emma Rusick, tweeted, the only doctor I trust is Dr. Phil. <laughs> well... <laughs> thank you. I hope you don't have any children because you probably need a pediatrician or something. Uh, so you can pick one of those too. Who knows, I may share your comment next. Be sure and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram because I do read what you guys say, every damn word of it. <laughs> we'll see you next time.